after every Smash reveal, I usually, well, at least in Fighters Pass 2, I have a discussion on just what I think of the character and their inclusion and maybe their move set and stage and music and stuff. Just the fighter pack overall. And this one, it's gonna be really hard to, I just realized I'm still wearing my headphones. <laughs> I've been in a scramble this morning. But this character, it's too much to really focus on the move set because to be honest, Throughout the entire Sakurai Presents, I could not focus on what was happening. I was still like, I, my head still hurts. Trying to comprehend, Sora made it into Smash. And the fan base did it, and, and it's because of the fan base he's in. Because literally, they ended this pass with Sora because he was the most in-demand one. And there's just a lot of things I have to say here. And I don't, I don't have a structure to this at all, just mostly... Sora's inclusion, the reveal trailer, I have some comments about Doom Guy, <laughs> of course, because it's me, and just the kind of fighter pack overall, how it might stack, you know, in comparison to things, so it's Kibaji. Kingdom Hearts and Halo. Kingdom Hearts and Halo are like my two favorite game franchises of all time. Sora wasn't one of my personal characters, even though he's like from one of my favorite games ever. It, and it's just because I wanted to see other representation and whatnot. But again, I told people as much as I don't want another JRPG character, as much as I don't want a sword like character, Sora would be the one exception. The one exception I would have because it is a character that so many people want. He is like at the top of so many polls. He was the top for like Europe and America, I think last year or the year before. Sora has always been in demand. He's constantly trending on Twitter. And because of that, I want what a lot of people want. At the end of the day, I'm happy that a crap ton of others are happy. That reveal trailer was really appropriate too. I really love how they handled that because I was worried if they did do a reveal, a final reveal trailer, you know, like one that really made it seem like this character is so much more special than others. I was worried about that because I didn't want somebody to feel like that. I didn't want somebody to feel like they deserved that kind of spotlight, no matter who it was, even if it was my most desired or the most voted, whatever. After watching it start to happen, I'm just like, okay, you know, this is fair. Like, this is fair because Sora is that top tier character and if anybody got that kind of a highlight then it would deservedly be the one that a lot of people would be like it's time i legit thought it was gonna be waluigi because of that assist trophy business it looked like everybody turned into assist trophies <laughs> and i was like it's gonna be waluigi it's gonna be waluigi but it didn't i can't believe sora and sephiroth are in the same pass together sora and sephiroth that is wild and even though Sora is technically a Disney character, so it is by a different publisher, which is what I wanted, I don't have words. Some thoughts about the overall pack, okay? And like Sora's a character and what he comes with and everything. Uh, I couldn't focus on his moveset. I was just visually staring at it because I was so lost in trance. If you want to see the full thing, you could go to Twitch. I was streaming this on Twitch. You should follow me there. Seriously, I stream every Monday and Thursday because I was just watching the whole thing like, this is a dream, like, this isn't real. I can't, I still can't believe it as I'm recording this. So I wasn't really able to focus on the words at the bottom. Like if it was in English, that'd be one thing. It's still probably going in one ear and out the other, but his air game is disgusting. <laughs> like the off stage thing that he does, he freaking does his down spike and can do his up B and then his side B all as like attacks. That's wild, that's insane. I don't, and his jump. His jump is super floaty, just like he is floaty in his game. Sora's super floaty other than Kingdom Hearts 1, which is funny because that's what they base his model off of. I don't know. I'm a little bit worried about that. I'm a little bit worried about his floatiness, but he's in. His special moves are cool with the whole like Fire Aga, Blizz Aga, and Thundaga and just bouncing back and forth between them. You can't necessarily control which one's next. You have to keep in mind, you know, it's in a sequential order after you use them. But everything else makes sense, like Sonic Blade being side B is perfect. Of course, he's a sword-like character, so his count he has a counter move, of course he does. But it's interesting because it only works at the front, it seems like, so that's interesting. And attacks still go through him, so I don't know. His up B is a lot like Link. I, I kind of just want to talk about overall picture stuff more, personally, because his outfits are awesome. Like. Sakurai says it himself that Sora has the most outfit work potentially out of all the DLC characters. I would agree because every outfit is super different, like super duper varied. And while I personally wanted Sora to be that taller body type, I wanted him to be more of his teenage type. 
It seems like they went more with his Kingdom Hearts 1 and Chain of Memories and Dream Drop Distance body type design. I personally would have preferred the teenage version, but I'm still, it's that's just a nitpick. It's totally fine, <laughs> but it's just weird to see like kid like Sora wearing his Kingdom Hearts 3 outfit being, you know, his latest timeline self. And them including the Timeless River like skin, that's wild. Like they didn't need to do that, but that was just, that was a really cool extra detail. Now the stage, I was in a lot of debate with my patrons in Discord or whatever, and as well as my buddy Michael, like I was asking, you know, fellow Kingdom Hearts fans, if there was a Kingdom Hearts stage, what would you want in? I personally wanted the Awakening Station. I was thinking Awakening Station, I was just worried about the background being too bland, but then they figured it out. They actually put it in here and the background is indeed, you know, occupied by, you know, the, the characters and whatnot. I think it's a great idea. And before that, it's Hollow Bastion. And Hollow Bastion isn't the most nice looking place, you know, but it makes sense because on Hollow Bastion, you actually have these floating platforms that you do go on. And I appreciate that, you know, I always appreciate it when a developer is like, look, we could go extravagant here, but instead we want to do something that kind of canonically makes sense. I'm like, yeah, that, that, that's good. So I got the stage that I wanted with Awakening Station mixed in with like a canonically makes sense like arena. Now the biggest complaint I have with this whole thing and, and there's some folks of, that are fans of mine that are probably waiting for the thoughts that I have about the thing. But the only issue I really have with Sora's pack right now other than like little nitpicks is the music. I don't know, like there's just, at least we got more than eight tracks. We got one more track than we did with Hero. And if you have Melody of Memories, on Switch, then you get like one extra. But there's just a lot of iconic tracks missing. They Yes, they pick the core, you know, Kingdom Hearts themes, but where's where's like Vector to the Heavens, Tension Rising, my favorite freaking Fate of the Unknown. There's so many good Kingdom Hearts tracks that are not in this that just hurts to see. That's really the only big con I have with this. It's just the music. Uh, I guess I'm with those Steve fans now that just felt like there wasn't enough Minecraft music. But let me hit it, okay? Just give me a moment because I know, like, let's talk about it. <laughs> if people follow me, they know my most desired character for Smash Ultimate is Doomguy. I really want Doom Guy. I love the idea of him being in the game. I didn't like the idea of him being the final character because I don't think he deserves that honor, but like on a personal level, I just really wanted him. I got a me outfit. And the outfit actually looks really good for a me fighter. Um, it's not Doom Guy at all, you know, but I'll I'll take it. And it felt weird having that first, but that's fine, you know? And it was it was almost like it was addressed to me, you know, <laughs> me and the other Doom Guy fans, because it's like we pretty much put in all the other peeps that people want, except just Doom Guy in Chief. So here's one of those guys. <laughs> I figured he wouldn't be in the game. I didn't expect him to be in the game at all. I just wish at the least he came with the freaking music track. Like just at the least, Sans got one, Cuphead got one, Shantae got one. Doom Guy is one of the most demanded characters on the America side of things. So like, I don't know. That's my only disappointment about that. Like legit, that actually does kind of hurt. Sora being the final character is just so appropriate. It is so appropriate in my opinion because I just, it, it is a little bit jarring to see three JRPG characters in one pass. You have Sephiroth, you have Pyra and Mithra, and you have Sora. You have three JRPG characters. I don't care about how they play. I care about what they represent. And that is a little bit like the, the other little bummer. It's just a nitpick though. It's not like I'm legitimately like complaining about it and making a case about it. And it's just gonna ruin my day because it's not what I preferred. No, it's just, it is a little bit disappointing for me to see that it's just me, three JRPG characters taking up half of this entire fighter's pass. But again, I said to folks, if there was one more JRPG character, if there was one more sword like character, it would be Sora. Sora deserves that spot. He is the most demanded character. He always creates this movement behind him. His movement has just grown, 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 grown. And it is awesome to see Sakurai acknowledge that, you know, acknowledge that just like Banjo. He knew a lot of people wanted Banjo, put him in. And Sora, a lot of people wanted Sora and he ends with it and just straight up highlights that and is like, and it was named after my original company, Sora Develop, whatever too. And like, that's cool. That is cool. 
I started crying at the end of this thing, man, because it's been, as Sakurai said, it's been over a three year journey since the reveal of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And that journey led up to this moment of just completing this roster, making the coolest Facebook banner of all time. And it's just, it's just sad, you know, to see, to be separated from him and to not have more of those moments that the Smash community comes together. And yeah, there's toxicity moments, but you know, it was just all part of the experience. Every fan base has it, in my opinion, and I'm gonna miss it. I just have really appreciated being on this journey, and I've been playing Smash ever since 64, and I think I even heard that in Sora's trailer, where as Mario's reaching for it, it sounded like a glimpse of the 64 theme to really nail home this entire journey of not just the three and a half years, but everything Sakurai has done leading up to this game. And it has me emotional. It deserves this entire other video, but it just got me crying. So to try to keep this video not too long, just uh, thank you, Sakurai, and thank you, the community, for being on this hype train with me. Uh, I still have kind of two other Smash videos I want to do in the nearby future, as well as like an online kind of tourney that we do. But yeah, I don't... Smash is still going to be a part of my life, and I hope it's part of yours and part of ours as a community. And it's just we'll see like I don't know what's gonna happen next it's gonna be a long time but Sora was in my opinion in my opinion a great way to conclude the pass just give us more music and poor Doom fans with not getting a freaking track did you laugh did you cry leave me how you reacted in the comments as well as any thoughts you have about Smash or Sora and Smash or uh, the Doom guy fiasco you know just who didn't make it in and hopefully you're constructive about it I'd love to chat with you down there don't forget to subscribe to be geek Proud, awesome.